You are listening to The Michael Lodge Show. Wealth, business, and taxes. Oh, yeah, and some politics. Let's get started. Well, so it's a TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Beginning of the weekend, some of you are at work, some of you are just getting out of work because of whatever country you're in. Or you might be in bed already, I don't know, but listen, it's Friday. This is the weekend, let's enjoy it, let's sit back and relax. Listen, everywhere I go, I listen to conversations. I'm sorry, I eavesdrop, but when I do eavesdrop, I learn a lot of different words and phrases, and that's what today's podcast is about it's about listening and it's also learning new words new phrases that people make up but they make perfect sense so today that's what we're talking about is words and phrases so i was listening to this conversation yesterday and they were talking about the time that they spent in in the covid lockdown and the pandemic and everything And they were talking about drinking, and they used the term, which I had never heard before. Maybe you guys have heard it before. Maybe you're using it. It's called pandemic tipsy, (laughs) which means that you guys, during the pandemic, got a little tipsy from drinking and not knowing exactly what to do during the pandemic. I love that word, pandemic tipsy. So now every time you see somebody with a mask on, and they're walking down the street and they may have a beer in their hand. And you can say, oh, that's a pandemic tipsy person. <laughs> pandemic tipsy. Remember that word because it's a good word. The other thing, now, it's surprising that when you're listening to conversations that people cover a whole group of topics, okay? So, yesterday, they were talking about hemorrhoids. Now, maybe I'm ta- sitting too close to these people and hearing too much, but it was so good because they were talking about hemorrhoids, and the way they described it was bump in the rump. <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> bump in the rump to, to describe hemorrhoids. And I'm thinking, my gosh, people are creative in the way that they put words together. Now, the, the good thing about words, <laughs> it can make you laugh, and it can also make you pissed off, and it can also make you start creating threats. I had a conversation with this girl on um, TikTok, and I'm, I'm telling you, every single day. Now, this happened two weeks ago that I originally sent my comment to her and said, hey, you need to calm down with your words. Because your words are so angry that it's caused... Because she was complaining about somebody had threatened her. And she went to the police. And the police wouldn't even listen to her because of the threats she was making against them. And she was surprised that threats were coming back against her. So she went to the police. And the police said, well, if you didn't say that sort of stuff, you you wouldn't be attacked. So she keeps going back and forth. And finally, I, t- I told her that, I listen, you can have any argument in the world but when you sound angry the words that you use will cause conflict words are very important about that is that how we tone them how we we do it of course she's on video and her words are very angry so when you sprue out anger expect anger to come back to you and she doesn't have the knowledge and she wanted to argue with me for two weeks two weeks she's been arguing with me back and forth about how she has the freedom of speech she said yeah i said you have the freedom of speech but in order for you to make your point or to have your message heard if you say it with anger people turn you off and they get pissed off at you so your message dies because your anger is so strong your hate is so strong So you can use very soft words, but you have to have a sound argument. If you may want to make an impact in whatever thing that you're trying to get out to the public, if you use angry words, you'll get anger back. But if you use soft words with a really strong argument, you will 
change minds. But if you're just angry and you want to fight back and forth, she's been fighting back with me for two weeks, and each time I keep telling her, calm down your voice and focus on your message. That's all that I've told her. And words are so very important. So very important. Now, the other thing that they were talking about is is how they were having confidence. You know, they had this really great confidence. This conversation went on about how when they walked into a room, people noticed them. And the lady said, oh, you got pull. Which meant that it was easy for her to attract people to listen to her or to pay attention to in that room. You got pull. Or she said, really what she said, she said, you pull. Which meant that when she walked in, people noticed and she pulled them to her. Because she had that much confidence. Which was really kind of true because if you do have confidence confidence, and you walk into a meeting, you walk into a room, you walk into a mediation, you walk into a negotiation, and you've got that confidence, people notice. So you pull and keep on pulling. Now, the one phrase that is so true that I heard because they were talking about their confidence and, and how they were traveling and doing all this stuff. And they said, the lady was describing her life, and she said, I was living through my SIMS, S-I-M-S, living through my SIMS. In other words, through the SIM card that stored everything that she was doing, her photographs, her messages, her texting, her emails, everything was lived through her SIMS. And I think that's what the majority of us are doing. We are living through our sims because our cell phones are glued to our hands. And now they've got those special grip things that, <laughs> that you can literally hold your cell phone more secure. Unlike me who's dropping and have broken my screen three times, <laughs> my I'm still living through my sims. Every single one of us are doing it every single day. We're living through our sims. It's funny how when you listen to individuals that you can gain so much knowledge. And you you kind of look at your life at that point in time. And as she said that, I said, gosh, I'm doing the same thing. I'm living through my sims. And how long have I been doing this? For many, many years now. I remember when texting first came out. And I was in the Philippines. And the Philippines, of course, everything they do is text. Everything is done through texting. And it had just come out and people were doing it. And I said, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to text. I'm just going to pick up the phone and call. Unfortunately, my life evolved around texting because everybody was texting me. My emails were coming through to my phone. Voice messages were coming into my phone. And then all of these apps began coming on of WhatsApp and Messenger and everything else that we use consistently on a daily basis. And all of us are living through our sims. Every single one of us are living through our sims. It's amazing what you learn from just listening. Just listening. Now... I'm going to have to ask God for forgiveness for this next word. I'm, and I'm going to ask for your forgiveness too. If you're a Christian out there, I'm sorry. But I'm telling you this is a good word. And we should we should put it in our mind, but maybe not say it. <laughs> but it's a word that got to me. Because with confidence, this word means that you can't do anything to them. You can be with you. You can be in your life, but your meanness and all of the stuff that you portray is not going to get to me, not going to get to you. And the word, and I'm sorry, in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Ghost, I'm sorry about this, but it's a good word. Unfuckable with. In other words, you may be with me, but I'm unfuckable. You are not going to bug me. You are not going to destroy me. You are not going to put me down. You are not going to try to control my life. You are not going to you are not going to do the things that that you're angry about. 
unfuckable with. And I and I know it sounds like a a bad word, and it is, but it's one of those words that says you can't fuck with me. No matter how angry you are, I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm not gonna let your nastiness affect me. Now listen, I love you as a friend, and I love you as my significant other and everything, but you're not going to get to me. You're not going to make me mad because uh, I am unfuckable with. You're with me, but you can't fuck with me. I am unfuckable with. So even though it sounds bad, put it in your mind because you know what? That's what you should be saying to those individuals that, that make statements to you or, or are trying to put you down or trying to just cause nastiness in your life. You're unfuckable with. So it's amazing. I, I tell you, yesterday I was, I'm always happy to listen in on conversations and then glean information out of the words that they're using. And it kind of tells us, doesn't it, that the words we use mean something great in somebody else's life. It can literally transform another person's way of thinking. The way we say it. Knowing that if we have a good argument, we can get to the other person so that they can listen to us. Putting anger out of the equation of communication because anger destroys communication. It literally destroys any message that you are trying to say. I had a friend several years ago that he was just so angry all the time that he was really making bad decisions, making bad mistakes. Because of the anger that was in his mind came out through his words and hurt other people. The last one that I, the last uh, phrase or grouping of words, if you want to say it, that really makes no sense, but you can say it no matter what, if something is crazy, if somebody is crazy. And it was told to me by a client a long, 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 long time ago. And it's always stuck in my mind because I use it in my mind when I'm thinking about what people are saying. Listen, when I'm in mediation, I hear all kinds of arguments, right? In my mind, I want to argue back, but I can't because I am there to do one thing, and that is to get these individuals to listen to each other and to get to a place where they can agree on something. But in my mind, <laughs> there are words going around. But I just can't say them because my role is so important to resolve these issues with these individuals. But this is what I say a lot of times when I hear craziness coming out of people's mouth. Sometimes even out of my mouth. And it goes like this. The guy was the guy was nuts anyway. And he goes, crazy as a fart in a skillet. Now that makes no sense. <laughs> but it sounds cool because it's really saying to you, you're crazy. Your, your, your position, that what your statement is coming out to me is crazy. You're as crazy as a fart in a skillet. <laughs> I love words, right? Because words can say so much and make the other person laugh but still deliver a message. And I think that's what we lost with social media is that people just type, you know, they're texting and typing and they are putting this stuff out there but they're really not thinking about how the other side is going to take it. With the spoken word, you have to be a little bit more cautious. I mean, you can be blunt. But you can be blunt if you know that your argument is sound. If you are making an argument just to be making an argument and you're not listening to the other individual, your message is gone. You have no message except to be angry and argumentative. 
The next time you go to a restaurant, next time you're sitting in church, next time you're sitting on a park bench, next time you're flying in a plane, no matter where you're at, listen to the words around you and I'm telling you, you will find wisdom. Listen, if you like the content of my podcast, go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. Again, that's www.buymeacoffee.com buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. If you would like to send me a question, if it's on business or mediation, send it to info, I-N-F-O, at Lodge, L-O-D-G-E dash C-O dot com. Listen, I enjoy these talks that I have with you, and I enjoy my time with you. I hope each and every single one of you go out and have a great weekend. Thank God it's Friday. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye. This podcast is produced by Michael Lodge, fully focused on content.